Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney. I found a that I can speak to. In today's video, we are going to be going through all the stuff I got for my 20th birthday. And here's a little disclaimer, I am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I am so blessed and loved by so many people in my family. And, and I love watching these videos, so I get an idea of what I want to ask for for my birthday or for Christmas. So I thought I would show you guys everything that I got for my birthday. And if you are not into these these type of videos you can just click out and it will not hurt my feelings at all I will put another disclaimer my boyfriend's love language is gift giving and he loves to spoil the heck out of me and I am so incredibly thankful for him but we are gonna first go through the stuff that my mom and my dad got me the first thing they got me is this Bob's Burgers clue I absolutely love the show Bob's Burgers and I love playing board games so here is this really cute Bob's Burgers clue the next thing I got for my mom is this giant artwork piece. It's like a wood little plaque of Zero and Jack Skellington in the cemetery. And I just love the design on this. And I think it is so perfect for Halloween. The next thing my mom got me is this Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas adult coloring book. I will just flip through some of the pages really quick so you guys can see some of the different art styles in here. I love these. Oh my gosh, this one's my favorite. It like opens up and it's like on two different pages. We got Lock, Shock, and Barrel and so many cute other designs. Oh, I cannot wait. But here is the front and then here is the back. The next thing I got for my mom is a Disney Be Happy Happy Planner and this is just like a smaller one. I'm going to use this for like my YouTube stuff and it is dated but I'll just ignore all the dates on that. But here it is and this planner is a 12 month planner from July 2021 to June 2022. So there's still a good amount of time on here and I don't care about the dates. This is for my YouTube stuff so I got this from her and my dad. And the next thing she picked up for me is this Nightmare Before Christmas little, like, bamboo cup. Um, this is adorable. I can't get the lid to go back on, so I don't know if it's broken or not. But this is a cute little Nightmare Before Christmas mug. The next thing she picked up for me is this really cute and pastel purple Winnie the Pooh and Gang sweatshirt. And it also has like the little Winnie the Pooh writing down the side. And I just love the artwork and the colors on this cute little sweatshirt. The next thing my mom got me is this cute little Real Littles Jack Skellington backpack. I think this would be so cute. It is like a little keychain and it comes with like little school supplies little toy things but i think this would be cute to put on a backpack like you like use this as like a keychain and hang it as a backpack so she got me this real littles backpack the next thing she purchased for me is this onyx bathhouse stay toasty foaming body scrub and these are from tj maxx and they smell amazing so this one's in the scent toasted marshmallow Ooh, that smells so good I've actually never used these from Onyx Bathhouse, so I cannot wait to use this. The next and final thing that my parents kindly bought me is this What Once Was Mine book. I love these books. I started reading the Aladdin one, but I have a problem with like getting like 30 pages through a book and then forgetting about it and then I have to start over. It's a vicious cycle, but I will get through a book one day. Um, and this is What If Rapunzel's Mother Drink From a Potion From the Wrong Flower? And this is A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. And I believe this is her newest one that has come out and then here is the back i love the artwork on these books that was the last thing that my mom and dad got me thank you guys so much again for purchasing me these birthday presents now we're going to move on to what my sister bought me for my birthday before i move on to what my sister got me i actually forgot one thing that my mom got me she got me this really cute hades villainous puzzle i have done the jafar one so i'm super excited to get this hades puzzle done i love 
love Disney puzzles so so much but moving on to what my sister got me she put all my stuff in this really really cute princess bag so the first thing she got me which is kind of sitting on top is this really cute like Mickey Mouse little reusable cup and I love the colors on this super cute and we got some little Mickeys on here and I love Mickey's design the next Disney themed thing she got me is this Mickey Mouse like comic style puzzle this is a 300 piece puzzle and it is I'm trying to get like the size of it it's 24 inches by 18 inches so that is super fun and I cannot wait to do this it's always nice to have a smaller sized piece puzzle so I feel a little bit more accomplished because sometimes with my thousand piece puzzles it overwhelms me but here is this really cute Mickey Mouse and Friends puzzle she got me the next thing she got me is this really cute blueberry slushy nourishing lip scrub from Country Girls and Pretty Pearls and it is just a blue color and it smells so amazing and I'm so excited to try it. Yes, it smells so good and it's just a lip scrub. The next thing she got me from that company is um, a sugar whipped soap scrub and the scent Love Spell. And these are so aesthetically pleasing. It kind of reminds me of like the Truly products. And this has scent notes of peach, orange, raspberry, and musk. And this is just a regular body scrub. But here is what the inside looks like. Oh, it smells like oranges. So, so good. And that's from the brand Country Girls Pretty Pearls. The next things she got me are all like candle and bath related. But the first thing she got me is this Fall in Love Vanilla Cashmere Toasted Marshmallow and Pumpkin Spice Candle. And this is a candle from Dollar General. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, here's the packaging. If I didn't show you that already. Oh, it smells so good. Just like a marshmallow pumpkin latte. It smells so, so, so delicious. The next thing that my sister got me are kind of like the same thing, but she got me this AMNH Skincare Birthday Cake Sugar Polish. Now this is like the dupe brand of Truly, and I love the packaging on these. They're so beautiful. Oh, and then on the top, there's like these really cute like different colored pearls, like sprinkles, and it does smell exactly like birthday cake and I'm so excited to add these to my collection and use these up and the next thing she got me to go along with that is the whipped body butter in the same scent by the same brand Ooh, this smells so good I cannot wait to use these and again these are so aesthetically pleasing so that is everything my sister got me, I believe, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, McKenna, who's my sister, for um, picking out these presents for me. I feel so grateful that you bought me these presents. Moving on, I'm going to show you the stuff my boyfriend got me. My boyfriend is a gift giver. He loves spoiling me and giving me gifts, and I seriously appreciate it so much. And he went so over the top and did not need to get me any of these presents, and I am so, so, so grateful and so thankful that I have him in my life. So I'm going to try to go through these quickly because he did get me a lot of stuff, and I want to go through it quickly so this video is not a million ages long. And so I'm going to try to show the stuff my boyfriend got me in like themes the first theme is like clothing headwear <laughs> so the first thing he picked up for me is this really pretty pair of haunted mansion themed ears i love the purple color on these ears and i love the plush plain sparkly bow so again here it's got like the little haunted mansion wallpaper on it and just like a plain black bow which has some like bar black polka dots on them so these are super cute and then next he got me this Walt Disney World little like mock sweatshirt thing like it's a sweatshirt but it's like more of like a hooded long sleeve and it does say Walt Disney World on it since 1971 and it has Mickey Mouse on there and I just think this is such a cute like lightweight long sleeve and it's perfect for the times that my boyfriend and I go down to Disney he has work off in the winter so we are able to go down to the parks in the winter months so these are perfect for Disney World Florida winter weather so here is this like hooded long sleeve he got me the next thing he got me is this super super cozy aztec print little um quarter zip i love aztec print anything and this is super warm and fuzzy even though it's really hot out still i'm so excited to wear this as soon as it gets 
cooler out and I love that he picked this out for me. It is so, so cute and soft. The next clothing item he got me are these pair of Carhartt sweatpants. These are actually like a youth extra large, but they actually fit me really nice. They don't make these Carhartt sweatpants in adult sizes. Otherwise, he probably would have got me an adult size. But it just says they're just plain black and has Carhartt down the leg. I love Carhartt clothing. They're so, so comfortable and has like the little Carhartt tag. But yeah, I fit a youth extra large pretty well in these little sweatpants. The last final clothing item, I believe, I might have clothing items throughout this video, but I think this was the last thing he got me clothing wise. He picked up this really beautiful and cute little Carhartt sweatshirt. And I love that it's got like the little Carhartt logo and then Carhartt is in like this like turquoisey blue color. I was looking to see if there's anything on the sleeve, but it doesn't seem so. So he got me this really cute Carhartt sweatshirt. Now we are going to move on to candles, this big box is all candles. I'm gonna go through this super, super quick. I'm gonna show the Disney inspired ones first because he got me Bath and Body Works ones and Disney inspired ones. So the first thing he got me was from Wishes Candle Co. And then this is the unbirthday cake. Obviously he got it for me because it's my birthday and I love the sparkles on these. So that was the first one he got me. The second one he got me from Wishes Candle Co. is Cannonball Red. This one smells like charred and like explosives. <laughs> it's so weird to say it like that and like burnt. Oh my God, I can never get these open. Here. Oh, it just smells like sulfur. I, I love it so much. And it's got like black little sparkles. And if you don't know, these have pins on the inside when you're done burning them. So this was the second one I got. The third one I got was this Dr. Facilier inspired one that says Shadow Doctor. Um, this one like leaked all over the place in transit. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this open. These are so hard to open up. Oh, here we go. So it is purple with some black glitter on the top. I love the glitter on these candles and I'm so excited to try these out. I've never had Wishes candles before. And the last candle I got is Have a Nice Flight, which I think is like a Soren inspired candle. I have no idea what happened to these. I don't think they're supposed to look like that. I mean, I'm sure they work the same, but let's open this up so we can see the inside maybe. Oh my gosh. I can't get it, but here we go. Have a nice flight. And then in the Wishes Candle package, they sent like this unbirthday card thing and like um, little instructions on how to use their candles properly. So those were all the Disney inspired candles that he purchased me. So now we are going to move on to like Bath and Body Works candles. I'm trying to go through these so, so fast. But the first thing he got me is sugared lemon zest. And this just has like a typical white Bath and Body Works wick. And it's lemons, lemon zest, and sugar cane. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the kitchen lemon scent. So here's the first one he got me. The second one he got me is Hello Gorgeous. And then this is pumpkin spice latte. I love the packaging. Just your typical wick. Yeah, pumpkin spice. Oh, so delicious. Can't wait to burn all of these candles. The next single wick he got me was pumpkin vanilla cream. I love the packaging on these. The next Bath and Body Works one he got me is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. The next one he got me is a marshmallow fireside. I absolutely love this scent from Bath and Body Works. It is amazing in candle form. And then moving on, we only have four more like big candles left and then I'll move on to something else. But the first one he picked out for me was a pineapple mango. And this is like a white barn candle. I love the packaging on the white barn ones. And this is just a plain white wax. The next one he got me is a Halloween one. And this is Haunted Nights. And he got it because it reminds me of like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And I wanted this one so bad. And he knew I wanted it. So I'm so glad he picked it up for me. Oh, this is like a clean scent. Like a clean cologne scent. I love it so much. So we have Haunted Nights. The the next Halloween candle he picked up for me is Vampire Blood. Now this is <clears throat> this is a fruity scented candle. Oh, it smells so good. So here is Vampire Blood. The last candle he picked out for me is Pumpkin Apple, and this is just in the little white barn packaging and the wax is white the next little category i am moving on to is books puzzles and random so the first thing he got me is the witch please hocus pocus in the all new sequel 
yeah yep hocus pocus in the all new sequel i cannot wait to read this this looks so 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 good and i love hocus pocus so i think this book takes place like 25 years after the movie so i think that is really really cool and i cannot wait to read this the next book he purchased me is a mother knows best by serena valentino book and this is obviously about mother gothel i don't really know much about these books but i cannot wait to read it and i forgot to say this book i think this book is it just says freeform books so it's just written from freeform i don't know but i'm so happy he got me some books that i can read Moving on, he got me a set of 2020-2021 Upper Deck Hockey Cards. I might unbox these in a video. No promises. I have a lot of videos that need to be edited and posted. So he did get me these little hockey cards. The next thing he got me is this 300-piece Pixar puzzle, and I love it. It's got a million bajillion little characters on this i know this is going to be so much fun and it is a 300 piece puzzle the final board gamey item he got me is the sidekicks and it says time to kick it into hero mode and this kind of reminds me of like the opposite of villainous that game um because you're trying to like defeat the villains instead of the hero i don't know i've never played it i didn't really read much into it but he thought i would love this so he picked this out for me and i love board games board games is like board games and puzzles are like my two favorite things to do in my free time the next category we are going to move on to is makeup i love me some makeup and so he got me this snow white Esh essence lash princess mascara um he also ordered me like a makeup brush set from them but they canceled it for some reason and then they accidentally sent two so i have a backup the wand just looks like that i love the princess lash princess um mascara i've never tried like the princess ones i'm assuming it's the same formula so he got me these the next makeup item he got me is the coca-cola and morphe cherry coke palette and i love cherry coke that is my favorite pop and pretty much the only pop that i will drink and here is the package it is like a tin and when you open it up we have some really cute and beautiful ready brown tones if you're interested in a video on this let me know in the comments below but here are all the shades the next makeup thing he got me is this winnie the pooh happy halloween palette halloween and winnie the pooh totally my jam and we've got tigger and pooh bear on the cover here holding a pumpkin and then on the inside of the mirror i don't want to blind you guys but we got you are up here and then here are all the beautiful like fall shades and there is like an imprinted pumpkin in each of the shades which i love it just adds a nice little touch okay the next makeup thing he ordered me was from ColourPop, and this is the princess like collection thing i don't i don't know it says heart of gold and i tried not to really touch it much but the packaging is really cute and this is what it is they are like single super shock shadows and they have all the little princesses on the back probably won't use these probably will just keep them as like a little display but they are super 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 cute and i think this is such a fun collection and i think it's still available so if you're interested you should definitely go check it out the last and final makeup thing is he got me this color pop uh, mega mystery box i'm just gonna open it briefly um it is full to the brim i'm going to do a separate video on this of me opening this mega mystery box so stay tuned for that i'm so excited to try out so many new and awesome color pop products i love how affordable color pop is the next category i'm going to move on to is pins he got me a ton of pins and i'm so grateful the first pin set he picked up is this like fig pin set we found it at Walmart and I was kind of on the fence of it and he was like, you know, what? I'm going to get it for you for your birthday. And I said, awesome. I would love that. This was like $60. I don't know anything about fig pins, but it comes with Sally, Jack, Oogie Boogie, and Zero. Uh, I'm going to have to do more research on these, but they are pretty, pretty cute. The next little pin thing he got me is a mystery pin set. And these are like the coffee cup ones. They're so cute. I'm gonna open these up in a different video because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long. And I have a feeling it's gonna be 40 minutes. But the next thing he picked up for me is one of the Hocus Pocus like villain sets. I did already open it, so I will show you. 
um, the two that I got, which I'm so happy I got these two. I'm not purchasing anymore, but I got the three Sanderson sisters, super cute. And then I got a Binks pin. These pins are pretty big, so I'm happy to add these to my spooky pin collection. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go through these relatively quickly because there's like five or six pins. The first one he got me is this Winnie the Pooh key pin. It's hard to show you guys, but here it is, and it's on a cute little Winnie the Pooh backer card. The next one he purchased for me is this really cute piglet with flowers pin. So cute. The next one he purchased for me is this Jack Jack's Cookies and Milk pin, and I love the Jack Jack cookie in Hollywood Studios, so this was perfect, and I love the little cereal collection. And here's the little cookie charm, so here is this pin. The next pin he purchased me is for, it is the Bad Bad Oogie Rollin Mean pin, and this is like a little pin on pin. Super cute, love Nightmare Before Christmas. The next one he got me is this really cute mayor one and it says i am only an elected official here i love the mayor from night before christmas and i think this pin captures his personality perfectly the next one he got me is this little limited edition jack skellington one but it's santa jack and he kind of moves like this i think it is super cute the next pin he picked up for me is this Moana castle pin. I'm slowly but surely trying to complete all of these castle pins. So I'm so glad that I have this Moana one. And I think this is my first Moana pin in my entire collection. The last and final pin he purchased for me is this Love You to Death pin on pin Jack and Sally pin. And on the bottom it says hearts and skulls and it says forever and always. Such a stunning little pin. I do have a couple more things from him, but I'm going to go through them quick and they're just like miscellaneous things that didn't fit into a category. But the next thing he got me is this uh, Princess Tiana wet brush. I love the wet brushes and I love Tiana, so this was perfect for me. The next thing he bought me is this really cute Winnie the Pooh ornament. And this is from the sketchbook collection. I believe this is from like the newest ornament collection that came out. We've got Tigger on top of Pooh Bear who is holding Piglet. And then it's got the little storybook. And then on the back it does say Winnie the Pooh on it. So I think this is super cute. I'm so happy to add this to my Disney ornament collection. The next thing he got me were a couple things of keys. The first one he got me is this Madame Leota Haunted Mansion key. I'm probably going to keep these in the container just because they're easier to display. And then the next one he got me is the Hocus Pocus one where the small one is Binks and the big one has the Sanderson sisters on it. I love these Disney keys. They're growing on me. I think I have three now. And the next thing he got me, which is kind of random, but like, random and miscellaneous is this happy planner princess sticker set it comes with 560 pieces of stickers so crazy and i do have a princess happy planner and i've been loving to do planners recently so i'm so happy you got me this but i have a weird attachment to stickers and probably won't end up using half of these but hey it's a thought that counts and hopefully i'll use them because i like how these ones add like little things on them, like they say notes and then you can write on them, which I think is super special. The next thing he got me is actually my second lounge fly ever. And it's this really cute um, Winnie the Pooh lounge fly wristlet. And here is the little lounge fly logo. And then on the back, it does have a little zipper pouch here for like some coins. And then when you open it up, it has Winnie the Pooh Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore, and it says some paths are destined to cross, and it's got like a little phone pouch. I don't even know if my phone fits in here, but if not, no biggie. And then it's got a little ID slot, some card holders, and some like a money slot. So I thought that was very sweet of him to pick that out for me. Okay, I lied. I have one more pin, and he got me this really cute like Pluto Halloween pin, and I have all of them from this little set now besides the Minnie Mouse one. But now the last thing is super, super, super special to me. And it is a red box. And for those of you who do not know, red boxes are the Disney Traditions Gym Shores. And I'm not going to take this out of the box because I already took it out and it made a mess with all the styrofoam. But it is the stunning 
Louis and Princess Tiana one and it's called Bayou Beauty. This little figurine is gorgeous. It is the White Woodland collection and I'm so happy to have my first Jim Shore and I appreciate him picking this out for me so much. I was not expecting it at all and I'm so so thankful. I will put a picture on the screen of it out of the box like someone else's picture because I just don't want to take it out of the box again because of all the styrofoam. I just want to say thank you to everyone who purchased me gifts. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister, and my boyfriend so much for purchasing me all these gifts. And I feel so, so loved by everyone in my family for giving me so many amazing gifts for my birthday. If you enjoyed this birthday haul, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite item was from this haul. And if you enjoy seeing my face or love Disney content, please consider subscribing. It'll really help me out. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's long video. I seriously appreciate it so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>